Hey, your viewers and viewers, this is my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to Saving Hunted. And I'm already stuck on this boat and cannot move, Phil. What's going you on? can't move. I know, I oh, think I've got a glitchy moment. Oh. I was meant to go onto the jetty. Hold on, let me just uh, load okay. last save. <laughs> oh, yeah. dearie me. Yes, that's unfortunate. Sometimes. Come on, Dinner Thieves, sort it out. Yes, indeed. I think uh, they're very much concentrating on old uh, reinvented and all that. Um, That's right. Still due for release sometime this year, as far as I'm aware. But there you go. All right, how are you doing over there, Phil? I'm doing okay. Um, we're back for another uh, episode, which is fantastic. I don't think we've done uh, one together since the 500th one. Yeah, the big I think that Q &A. was the last one. Yeah, that, well, for sure that is that me and you did. Um, yeah, the big Q, the big Q and A. That was very interesting. Very interesting little one we did there. And um, yeah, I've got quite an interesting little. Uh, one. I uh, hope you're ready for a bit of a lengthy one. Okay. Uh, okay. That's, uh, that's what we're in for. A in lengthy for today. one. But before we begin, how are things going for you? All oh, right. Yeah. I've had uh, just a morning of actually just doing a few recordings here and there. Um, got uh, a bit more of the Stalin Subway recorded, and then um, I recorded a few short indie horror games. Obviously, with Halloween approaching and all that, I decided. Yes. I'm going to try and yeah, do some more horror um, bonus content. Um, there's, uh, yes, there's Halloween coming up soon. Mm. Yeah, not not very far away now. Let's get the uh, the sweeties out, hadn't you? The sweeties for the little kiddies, yes, indeed. Well, I don't need to worry about that. I'm in an no. apartment, so <laughs> yeah, that's true. So yeah. You, you, you won't get much. But I can just I, lean I out my it. window and go, "Yeah, you fucking kids, get out of here with your trick or treating." Fuck you. I know we don't need to give you sweets. <laughs> don't be stupid with sweeties. Yes. Um, indeed. Right. So the uh, the little topic I've got the little interesting thing we can do is um, it's. Um, Look, we're going to do something because we haven't, we haven't done a, a gaming sort of thing Ooh. in a while. Uh, and here are basically um, some f 50 fun questions about video games okay. uh, to ask. So um, we'll have a go at this and see and see what we think. Mm -hmm. um, and um, basically, little, little fun questions. Um, and, and then, obviously, viewers, you can you can answer them yourself um, with what you think as well, and we can say what what we think to uh, these various questions. Yes. Sounds good, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Um, Hit me, okay, Phil. So we'll start I'm with ready. question one, which is the ultimate. Yeah, question one is the ultimate generic. Everyone, everyone answers this if you're a video game fan, and it is the famous question: What's your favourite game of all well, time? <laughs> yeah, um, we've uh, answered that one a lot in, in previous Q and As, but to be, kind of summarise that one briefly, I mean, it depends what genre you're talking about. But uh, yeah, well, we don't do what's your favourite game of all time. Just yeah. some, some, some games that you really yeah. have that. Had some been, ooh, faves into you indeed yeah. uh, obviously rtcw beyond good and evil uh, rayman 3 is an old favorite platformer um probably uh death stranding the dungan romper games um, oh yes death stranding came to you quite uh, yeah you, you really liked that it really I did um, enjoy got, it. got to you didn't it that it one? did yeah death stranding. a lot of these a lot of these high high-end games yeah um it's good it's good to have a, have a favorite game like this indeed yes um <laughs> and uh, what about you phil the, the, mm. those yeah, well, it's a, it's a funny old question. I love me, uh, as you know, my Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. The majority of them that I've played, I've, I've loved. Assassin's Creed, you know I love Assassin's Creed. Yeah, you do. Um, the Fallout series. Um, and the, those are some of my, my top top end games. And I, I must I, say, I, I've, I've always I've always been impressed. Whenever I've picked up, like with the GTA series, when I picked up the next game, I was like, I didn't think, oh, well, this has gone a bit naff. Now I thought, wow, you know, it's just impressed me more than the last. Indeed. Like with Assassin's Creed, the. Um, I will admit, uh, I, I, I'm on your side with regards to Assassin's Creed. The, I did, I did think that uh, Unity was a bit lacklustre. Syndicate yeah. was better, but then. Uh, once I started doing Origins, um, oh yeah, Origins it's, supposed it's, to be way better. Mm. Yeah, as is Odyssey, and of course it's now Valhalla, and there's mm. even new one, the Mirage. Indeed. Uh, so those are some of my favourite games as well. Yeah, so that, that's mm -hmm. the uh, we've answered that quite a few times. If you if you're unsure, if you want a bit more of a synopsis on that, uh, there's plenty of Q and As where we've we've gone through that. Um, I believe we might have answered it in the 500. We almost definitely yeah. did it 400 and yeah. the three. <laughs> Eventually. So have a look at those ones. Yeah. Uh, Basically, look at all the Q and A videos me and him have ever done. Me and Phil, that is. Yeah, they'll be probably in, answer in it. On that. <laughs> yeah. The worst ones as well, so you can have a look there. Yeah. Okay, Andrew. Next question for you. Mm -hmm. What's a game? So this is question two. What's a game you thought you'd like, but actually hated? Um. Mm, okay. Um. That one. There's yeah. a couple of ones that sort of me to go. I mean, not not so much because I hated them, but more because I was just underwhelmed. They just didn't really grab me. Didn't, didn't like so. Them, yeah. 
number one is one that you know me and you have talked about many times before and which i've talked about many times before uh, with my viewers as well which was outlast um the one the horror game that i you know everyone was making it out to be really scary and i thought you know going in oh this looks really good but then by the end of it i was just very underwhelmed and it just didn't really do it for yeah, me so you thought you'd you thought you'd go in and like it yeah, yeah. The other uh, example is um, not one obviously to do with my channel. It's um, one that me and you, uh, you've played it and you enjoyed it. And then we played it for a bit together on one of your consoles and it just didn't really grab me and it was Watch Dogs. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not that I hated it, though. I, I think hate is a very strong word and that's not really the case in this instance. It just, I, I, didn't, I didn't really kind of, it, it didn't really grab me. I was like, no. okay, yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I kind of changed the wording of the question a bit there. From um, no, that's fine because you, yeah. you did like it. <laughs> yeah. For me, I'm, I would I would say um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Really? Yeah. I said this before. Oh yeah, you have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I said this before Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I thought I'd like it because I um, I I played the yeah because I played Rise of the Tomb Raider. I didn't play the original mm. Tomb Raider, the 2013 reboot, but I played uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Really like that. But I just thought Shadow of the Tomb Raider was was. Uh, I thought yeah, I did think I was going to go in and like it, um, but turns out now nah, it wasn't as great as i thought i must say as well uh assassin's creed unity um yeah. again, I'm being assassin's creed fan i thought uh it doesn't quite got the pizzazz no it's gonna have yeah i thought it was a lot better there was still some of the same generic ubisoft it's called the ubisoft um what do they call it uh tight old ubisoft cliches yeah <laughs> That's the only thing. I mean, Syndicate was comparatively have, better. Like, yeah, there are there are some game gaming franchises that have copied the Ubisoft formula of yeah. you know going up towers and and scouring out the map. Other other different types of games that do that, and uh, some people are really annoyed with that. But yeah, indeed. Um, yeah, Unity was just. It, it's not that it's objectively a bad game. Um, I mean, at least when they patched it and got rid of some of the bugs. But oh god, yeah, yeah. Um, the famous uh, no faces yeah. bug. But yeah, but it just. It's, uh, compared to some of the previous Assassin's Creed, it just was kind of, eh, I wasn't, you know, I don't know. There were aspects of the story which I felt needed a lot more work and things like that. Yeah. Um, Syndicate was better, but there's still that mm, stagnant formula. Yeah, I think which is why probably with yeah. they they, re they revamped it. Yeah, Syndicate was uh, comparatively better. It had kind of more to it, and I did like the Victorian setting. The thing, the, my one sort of criticism of Syndicate was that I think, I don't know, I felt it was a bit too sort of long and drawn out maybe it didn't need to be as big as it was um, but yeah um, other than that I mean it was it was decent enough for what it was I will agree with you on Syndicate when you um, brought up one of your uh, episodes with regards to having to do the boroughs yeah Remember it gets a bit game. repetitive yeah um, there probably could have been a better way of implementing that um, just to kind of keep things from getting a bit stale um, but yeah I mean Still, not not necessarily uh, a bad game um, on the whole. Uh, still very much enjoyable. Hmm. Okay, that's uh, okay. Let's move on to question number three. Actually, uh, this question number three is related to question two. Okay. Uh, which is, what's a really popular game everyone seems to love but you don't like? Mm. Well, clearly for that yeah. one, Outlast. <laughs> Outlast, yeah. Uh, yeah, for me, uh, that one there. It was really popular. Loads and loads and yeah. loads of people loved it. So loads people of people did. loved it. And everyone's loving, obviously, the, the sequel and everything. But yeah. yeah, didn't grab you, didn't grab no. me either. Yeah, it was just one of those ones where I was like, yeah, I'm not sure I really get the hype around it. Um, so, yeah, Same there was that. Same with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Mm. Um, I think Shadow of the Tomb Raider is pretty popular as well. I'm just yeah. thinking, is there any other games that... Uh, a really popular game everyone loved but you don't like um, um, there's one I can think of that I have done on the channel which yeah. um, here's the thing so it was the um, you've probably heard of it the Henry Stickman collection um, okay yeah. yeah so that's like a really popular like everyone was like recommending it and saying oh it's so funny and then I played it and I think the problem is that Henry Stickman started out as a new grounds thing with very much like Newgrounds yep. humour, but the I problem did. was I, I wasn't. I remember it from watching yeah. it in the day because I used to, I used to, what I used to be on Newgrounds yeah. a lot. That's where the famous uh, Badger song comes from. Yeah, badger, yeah. badger, 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 that Badger, one. Badger, <laughs> badger. Yeah. But I wasn't really a Newgrounds person. I wasn't really part of that scene. So a lot of the humour, as I was playing it, I was like, right, okay, <laughs> that was uh, weird. Sort of went, it sort of went over my head, yeah, <laughs> and I was just like, oh, right. I, I and that's see. That's difficult because <laughs> yeah, got a chonker of a head. Indeed. Whoa, how rude! My goodness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that that's that's yeah. That's yeah. Those, those it's not that it was a bad game. Yeah. It's just that I think the humour. 
I didn't really get it, um, sort of. So, yeah, it just kind of went in one ear and out the other, kind of. Yeah. Actually, another one for me, a really popular game everyone loved, but uh, but I don't like, was the um, Ratchet and Clank. Really? I, mm. The uh, the Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah, I was not yeah. enamoured with that. I must mm. say, uh, which is funny because I do like the uh, I did like obviously Jack and Daxter and yeah. all that. Jack, mm. that that was fantastic. But yeah, it didn't really didn't really grab me that one. No. Okay, uh, let's move on to question number four. 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 Okay, so this is sort of the opposite direction. Okay. What's a game you didn't expect to enjoy but ended up liking? Mm, okay, let me have a think about this. Um, didn't expect to enjoy. Um, I mean, um, I suppose actually, well, hmm, it's hard to say because this question sort of implies that you kind of deliberately chose to pick up a game that you would normally look at and not bother to get because you'd think it just doesn't appeal to me and of course I tend only to get those sort of games which do appeal to me I'm trying to think if there's like a game for example that maybe uh, my thought. viewers have suggested or something like that and I've decided to give it a whirl and then have been pleasantly surprised by it and thought you know what this isn't something necessarily that I would have chosen to play but I'm kind of glad uh, I did um, I'm trying to think of any sort of real good examples really standout examples of that um, and, uh, Possibly, uh, what was it? Um, there is one that's sort of coming to mind. What, which one oh, was yes. it? Um, crap. I feel like there is one. Hold on. Um, I'm trying to think as well. Yeah. Uh, for, for me, from my front. Um, hmm. Do you know what? I do I do have one that I've okay. thought of now. Go ahead. When I played uh, San Andreas, yeah. uh, obviously I completed it. And then um, at that time, I was thinking, um, oh, um, that, that was that was a really fun game when I finished it. I really enjoyed that. Are there any more Grand Theft Auto games? Because at the time I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, it was sort of my first ever um, adult game that I played. Yeah. Um, so I thought I found after that I found GTA Vice City, and I had a look at it, and I, I thought first, oh god, this was made in two thousand. This was to, made in two thousand and two. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm probably not going to enjoy this and like it. So I thought I'd give it a pick up. And probably give it back. I think I actually got. I think I actually went to a rental store. Yeah, just to, wow. Just to rent it because that's one way. Obviously, yeah, we can do that. You like rent it for a, a few days and then you have to give it back. And I thought, video right, game just... rentals. God, that's yeah, such no, a video game rentals. old so thing. I thought, give it a go. And yeah. I thought, wow, actually, this is really quite good, even though it's older. Mm. I thought it was good, so I uh, I did a bit and thought I'm not going to do any more because I don't want to spoil it. I gave it yeah. back and then actually bought the game. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I was really impressed with GTA Vice City, even though it is older than San Andreas, because yeah. San Andreas was released in 2004, uh, Vice City was 2002, um, and I really, I really didn't really enjoy it. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. it's the right nerve. Yeah, there is one actually. Now that I think about it, um, now that I've had a moment to think, um, which was recommended to me by my viewers, and at the time. Um, I sort of looked at it and thought, oh, okay, so it doesn't look like something I would have picked out for myself, but I'll give it a whirl. And it actually turned out when I played it that it was overall quite a good game. Uh, to yes. the Moon. Um, oh, yes, yeah, yes. that was a recommendation. So at the time when I when people were recommending it, recommending it to me, I looked at it. I thought, obviously, this is clearly made in RPG Maker, and I sort of thought, I've never really played RPG Maker games before. I'm not sure kind of how into them I'd be. But then I played it and I thought, you know what, this is actually quite a um, decent little emotional story. You know what, you're, not the, you're not the only one in that. There's, yeah. there's, there's people I've seen who uh, who weren't didn't seem that interesting to the moon, and then they did they did play it and they thought, oh, actually, this is really quite decent. Yeah, it's really good to the moon. Go and watch my playthrough, ladies and gents. It's, yeah, definitely, uh, I've had a look at that. It's a nice one. Yeah, um, it certainly is. It does make me wonder though if maybe there are other RPG maker games I should try out, especially like ones in the horror genre, for instance, because there's apparently some good ones. Um, so maybe that's something to uh, make Give a, a mental Absolutely. note of, indeed. Right, Andrew. Question mm-hmm. number five. Five. Uh, what game have you spent the most number of hours on? Oh, well, I think the one that we're in right now can be yeah. constituted for that one. <laughs> There's actually probably well. several contenders uh, to that. So, Sir, obviously being one of them. But I think if you look on um, my Steam page uh, under Gary's mod, that one has a lot of hours that I've sunk into that one before. You've just done messing a lot around that one. in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's got to be a lot in there. So, Gary's mod, so you're being hunted. Both um, probably quite high up there. RTCW, RTCW especially with all the mods yeah. that have come through. Yeah, my RTCW hours. Okay, so my RTCW hours will definitely be high if you're counting not just the hours I played on the Steam version, but also prior to me getting the Steam version when I was actually playing my old disc copy of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so 
so count that too, and that's probably also a huge number of hours as well. Um, so yeah. It's always good when you when they build up, isn't it? The, the number of hours. Yeah, I've I've spent a lot of uh, number of hours, which might be. I mean, because I play the big like RPG games, you can spend ages in there, like yeah. doing side quests. So like Fallout like Four, mm. uh, GTA Five was was mine. Obviously, at the moment, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm just spilling spilling uh, hours when I can, and it's just it's just mental. Yeah. How, <laughs> how much how, how many hours you can how many hours you can go through. Um, there's some people I've seen when, like in the, in the Steam, various different Steam reviews, it's like, oh, huge amounts of hours yeah. <laughs> when you look at what they played. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, um, yeah. I think um, my sir here on Steam's got to be like, and this is just for the Steam version. It's got to be like over a hundred hours by now. Way oh over god, 100. yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> indeed. Mm. Right. Question number six. If you had to marry the last video game character you played, oh, who would God. it be? Um, <laughs> well, um, I'm guessing this so doesn't count the uh, Sir You Being Hunted protagonist who is kind of faceless and has no identity. Um, no, it has to be the game that I played before this, does it? Yes, what was the game, you, what was the game you've just played before this? So, the game I just played before this um, in my recording session earlier today was a short indie horror called It's Not Me. Um, and the main protagonist of that is kind of is just this nameless girl. So well, there you go. You're that's who I'm marrying, marry, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen, for when the "It's Not Me" goes out on the channel, um, and then you'll see a picture of the protagonist. But yes, yeah, that's, who, that's who you're marrying. That's apparently well, who I'm marrying. I guess I, I guess I'm marrying um, uh, Cassandra from Assassin's Creed oh, Odyssey, <laughs> uh, which is going to be pretty different, uh, pretty difficult since she lived in ancient Greece. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's. <laughs> Well, unless you just get teleported through. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that, that's pretty... That, I, I think I've got a, a, on the winner there. Yeah. It's like a pen pal relationship. You have to write out a letter and then post it back through time in a time machine. <laughs> and, and then go there. Yeah. Apparently, oh, we're married now. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, it's like, are we? And I wouldn't be able to understand because we're speaking ancient yeah, Greek. Yeah, true. would <laughs> be like, oh, God. Well, yes. I, I, can't, I can't speak this language. That was a fun little one. Okay, uh, question number seven. If you had to live in the world of the last game you played, what world would it be? <laughs> well, last game, like I said, I played before this was It's Not Me, so I don't think I'd want to actually live in that world in that game because well, it's basically this, this a... is the last game you played. You go into the so you're being hunted. So you're world. being hunted world, then, which is not much better considering no, uh, <laughs> there are evil yeah. robots out to get me. But uh, and even when there's not robots, what do you do for entertainment? Indeed, you just run around the island, messing around with the rabbits and the pheasants and whatever. That's good for me. <laughs> guess I'm going to ancient Greece. Then. I guess you are. Yeah. Well, well but that, that's definitely. Awesome. With the knowledge I know, because there's going to be no, no television, no, no, no. Form of entertainment. Yeah, no, you're um, just going to have to find ancient Greek forms of entertainment. You have to yeah. whip out your discus and uh, and your javelin, oh, take, and your, take, whatever. Take, get, yeah, get part in the Olympics. <laughs> yes, do, uh, throw javelins around and um, play on the uh, on the lyres mm. and the. Just bear in mind, if it's ancient Olympics, you have to compete butt naked. <laughs> oh God, yeah, there was a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. they, were, uh, they were very. They weren't as. Uh, well, um, you know, they were very liberal. Yeah. Thing. yeah, very liberal with it as well. Indeed. That's what you get from the uh, the civilization that invented democracy, eh? Yeah. Um, mm. Right, let's move on to question number eight. Okay. Have you ever had a crush on a video game character? <laughs> Probably. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Looking back, is the one who I said I'd have a crush on. Um, I, I don't know about, like, a... I wouldn't say a fallen crush, but there are certainly video game characters who, let's be honest, are, you know, pretty much waifu material and all that. Um, I must admit, as a teenager, Jade from Beyond Good and Evil was always kind of uh, yeah, appealing I, I, to some I extent. Yeah, I thought that was going to pop up somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed, so that one, um, sure. <laughs> Absolutely, one, one, yes. Um, who would I go for? Because I've played a lot in the uh, in, in time. Um which character would really? Well, I mean, um, um, I tell you, I tell you, what, some of the uh, some of the dead or alive girls, of course, <laughs> uh, would be would be something as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What about the, um, the pole dancing scenes? Yeah. But what about uh, games you've actually played, <laughs> or have you played one of the dead or alive? Ones? I haven't actually played one of the dead or yeah. alive. No, I will say, uh, regards to games I've played. Hmm. Um, what would I go? Uh, that's actually a tough question. What would I go for? I mean, I mean. Evie was not was not too shabby. I would yeah. Evie I, I Fry. Would, yeah, yeah, Evie Fry. <laughs> yes, brains yeah. and um, a bit of uh, assassin skill. There you go. Yes, but again, he'd have to hide up to all the way to the yeah. uh, 
uh, 18th century. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying Not to be sort of creative in my answer to that because I could have very 18th, easily 19th just, century. Yeah, I, mean. <laughs> I could have just fallen back and said, "Oh yes, I'll go for one of the Dongan Rumpa waifus or something." Or the Senran Kagura. Or yeah. one of them. Okay. No, nah, I wanted to oh, see if okay, I could be yeah. a bit more imaginative than just falling back on one of them. But um, if I had to choose from one of them, I'd probably just say, uh, "What's a face from DR2?" Uh, God, I've, I've, how can I forget a name? Uh, she's my freaking DR2 waifu, Sonia. Never mind. Sonia, the princess. Yeah. Yes. That's it, yeah. That's so, from, yeah, okay, that. <laughs> uh, question number nine. What mm. was the first game you ever remember playing? Ooh. Um, right, okay. Um, we're going... Okay, I can't remember if it was actually a game or if it was more like a kind of thing that came on a disc that you could point to your computer and watch. But I seem to remember... Um, I have this really vague memory from yeah. freaking like... must have been like the mid-90s when I was uh, a young kid... And of course, this is like a real vague memory. So either my memory is very faulty because it was so far back, or I could just be misremembering entirely, and I could be imagining something else. But I'm pretty sure at one point that um, we had this game on our computer, one of our first computers, and it was like Thumbelina or something. It was really weird. Oh goodness me! Yeah, it was. I can't, it's just I have this really vague memory of it. I don't know if maybe like um, my parents got it for my sister or something, but. I don't know, I just have real vague memories of it, but it's one of those things where it's like, I can't actually remember for certain if it happened or if it's like some weird meld of memories and as a result, because I can't quite remember what it was. That's what I think it was, but it turns out it was all just in my head or something. All in your head. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just misremembering something else that I saw, but I really can't remember. Um, yeah, it's a difficult question, that, because yeah. it really takes that. I think one of the first games that I can remember ever playing was... Uh, Wolfenstein: Spear of Destiny. Yeah, mm, uh, way back, and that was uh, and that was when we were in Germany, and we yeah. went to visit um, we went to visit some French friends mm. um, who were who were living. We went to visit some French friends, and they had a, a floppy disk copy <laughs> of Wolfenstein yeah. 3D: Spear of Destiny. So I gave it a whirl and thought, "Wow, what was this? this is amazing!" <laughs> Little me was like, "This is amazing! Oh my god, what are these graphics?" Yeah, <laughs> these what these graphics? beautiful graphics yes and, uh, that was that was one of the first ones I remember yeah. uh, I mean if you want to be you know if you want me to sort of answer that question again and actually talk about a game that I definitely know playing when I was very young obviously it would be Captain Claw um, yeah you love yeah. that one I remember yeah. we always I, when I very used to come around we always used to play that yeah we did um, I control the movement you control the dynamite <laughs> that was it yes mm. uh, okay let's Indeed. see what's question number 10 now uh, have you ever pretended to be sick to get out of something so you could play a game i'll be honest no i've never done that actually um i've never pretended to to be sick so i can play truant just so i can uh, play a video game i have really <laughs> I pretend, yeah I, I, I will admit, oh my god I phil <laughs> i'm learning oh, so pretend, many new I things because <laughs> i really i really want to play san andreas yeah. i was enjoying san andreas at the time and it's like oh, i have to go to I have to go to school uh but i decided to to, to be sick and i uh instead just uh Jumped on, jumped on, and started yeah. playing for the whole day. Playing with uh, cheats, I believe, They're blowing up cars and yeah. and doing things like that. Mm. And I found it, and I found it really funny, and I love doing that. Yeah, you uh, decided, you know, you just needed to uh, hear what's his face say. All we needed to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Oh, one more God, time. that <laughs> mission, yeah, one of the most yes. famous uh, famous missions that's really difficult. Yeah, yeah, but you never have then. No, no, I never, I never have done that. At least not that I can remember. Um, Good yeah, see, I'm the perfect model student. <laughs> okay, um, right. Question eleven: What game did you last complete? Ooh. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> going back uh, to my recording session earlier today, it would be um, a few very short indie horror games. But I, I don't think I'll count those because um, they're just like yeah, what well, well, big short. game? Big for game. me, it'd be, for me it'd be um, Assassin's Creed Origins. Yeah. Well, for me, um, game, yeah, completed fully. Yeah. I mean, actually, for me, you just need to look at what was the last game I played before my current playthrough of the, uh, the Stalin Subway, and that would be Darkest of Days. Um, which was uh, interesting, uh, low budget, but nonetheless quite um, fun little time travelling FPS. Um, That's what so we like. Good. Yeah, so that one, ladies and gents. That one's a game that's completed, okay. Yeah. Question 12 uh, What game are you playing right now? Well, well um, uh, I don't take know. a look. <laughs> take a look what at the title of the video. Right <laughs> what could we'll we play? Possibly... So you're being hunted, yay! <laughs> yeah. so you're being... Well, would. Technically, we're not we're not yeah. really playing it as nah, messing around. Uh, so, with it. <laughs> so, what game are you playing right now that you are playing 
properly. Yeah, so playing properly, that would be the Stalin Subway. That would also be um, currently doing another playthrough of RTCW at the moment uh, for real RTCW4. Um, so I've noticed something about you. Yeah. Your playing is just playing for recording. I, I don't see you doing much playing in your own time. I know, I don't. Well, the thing is, like, I have so many games, um, and it's like, so many of them look so interesting, and I just think to myself, oh man, I would love to showcase, you know, these on the channel. So, Recording, a lot of the time, yeah. I, yeah, I, I just put Bandicam open, and as I'm playing it, I just do commentary. Yeah, because everyone wants to hear you yeah, babbling. I know, of course they do. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> yes, but um, there are occasionally the odd game that I don't, bother recording which i do just play uh, oh, in my own that's time good. yeah so it's good to keep yeah. that as well because there's a few um, a bit of a way. yeah there's a few like visual novels in my steam library which i don't think i'm ever going to do on the channel so i just think fuck it i'll just play them in my own time yeah especially it's short ones. Creed odyssey definitely yeah. still still playing that right now i love Indeed. it i love it yeah. it's such a good game um and uh, that that's the one i'm, I'm continuing to play yeah uh Oh, the the I tell you what, Andrew, the era we live in, where we we've just got so good access to video games, <laughs> yeah, I know. and that's getting even easier to get them, you know, because we've got all the digital yeah. storefronts now. Digital storefronts are yeah. amazing um, because do you remember the uh, you know the terrible old days when you actually had to go to a game store and pick up a physical copy, and because of all you know the packaging and stuff it comes with, it ends up costing about thirty or quid or whatever for a new game <laughs> you remember those olden days those terrible olden days when it cost money a lot lots of money well i mean it still costs money now but sometimes just not as much because things go on offer and all that and things sometimes go on they're offer, but they're still, still some of the big games are still going for, going for like 60 quid if you get yeah. the collector's editions you can, get, you can be shell out 120 quid yeah. for them. i know uh, but i do remember the the, the good fun thing about get i remember getting a physical copy was having the uh, instruction manual yeah i used to do that indeed it was like getting a whole book with a uh, backstory Story and all kinds of stuff, character descriptions. And, the, and I got ones for when I got uh, GTA. GTA would always, because you know their humour, mm. they would always do it as a like, um, come and visit San Andreas in, in a sort of like a yeah. brochure style. <laughs> it's really quite funny. Uh, okay, next question 13. What game do you want to play next? Ooh. Oh, okay. Um... But I know, we, we know what's after me. For, for me, after, mm. after I finish Odyssey, I think my plan is. I'm probably. I'm, I was thinking originally going to Fallout 76, but that's quite a big one. Yeah. So I think I want because I've got The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Mm, okay. And I've, uh, yeah. Or the, the 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 amazingness. I know it's a game that came out in 2015, but the amount of amazingness that uh, people have stated about it. It yeah. said it's one of the it's one of the best games ever. Mm. Uh, and I think it did get Game of the Year 2015, and it's nice. many uh, gaming uh, list videos and, and YouTubers I watch keep saying it's what it, it's one of their best. And yeah the best so i'm definitely going to uh, go for the witcher 3 i think yeah uh, for me i don't think i've decided exactly yet on what i'm going to play once the stalin subway finishes um it may be i don't know another shooter because uh, i've got a few then again i may um it's the forgotten city uh, possibly yeah, yeah what what or maybe what some more chillers art horrors because i've got a few more of those i need to get through and they're only short so i could probably blitz through a few of them um yeah so there's a few possibilities yeah possibilities there. We've also, actually, oh. um, just before we do yeah. move on, sorry, this is a yeah. random thought, but um, obviously me and you, we know we still need to play uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, but um, recently, Crash yes, Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is now available on Steam. Um, yes, yeah, uh, it looks Crash really Bandicoot good. Four. Yeah, yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, Crash Bandicoot 4 is the, uh, the next one. Yeah. They've done it. It sticks to the... Because um, there have been many Crash games after, after those, yeah. which weren't too good. But this one, yeah, is it's good this back because it was only a, a, a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, true. It's good, mm -hmm. it's good when they pulled them. But, yeah, but you, you, you're halting yourself on that because you're not going through Spyro, are you? I know. I need to record that. I've got an episode of that recorded that needs to go oh, out, well, and I'll be doing hours. more in due course. Mm. It's always fun. I mean, yeah. Spyro and Crash are just oh, classics. Top notch. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. Let's move on to question number fourteen. In your opinion, so this is just opinion, guys, don't viewers, don't take it too much. In your opinion, what would you say is the best games console? Ooh, well for me, it's got to be PC Master Race uh, Peasants, because <laughs> I've never really. PC. Well, yeah, I mean I've played on consoles, you know, for example, when I visit Phil, we play on his old Playstations and Xboxes and whatever else have you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very much a PC 
uh, PC elitist. <laughs> You're on the PC. Yeah, I, I, I did a few, few PC games, but mostly I'm, uh, at the moment I've got a PS4. Yeah. I do have an Xbox 360 as well, so I've played on that. I've also got a Wii and a PS2. Yeah. And I think I also have somewhere, or I may have got rid of it now, I used to have a Nintendo GameCube. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah. I, I do I do like the, the, the consoles. I'm more of a console gamer than yeah. a PC gamer. Indeed. Um, I know you got to... It, you, Sometimes, obviously, um, at some point, I'm going to get a PS5. Yeah, I think I really want to get a PS5, right. especially since uh, so I can get the uh, the next Horizon game, yeah, Bidden West, which will mm. be uh, really fun. But yeah, you're more of it. But you've uh, you've had some fun on the consoles when yeah. you come around, don't you? Indeed, I haven't. Oh my god, here we go. Here uh-huh. we go. Question fifteen. Are PC gamers really superior to console gamers? <laughs> well, Andrews. Yes, yes, Andrews. Yes. Like, yes, yes. No, they're not. Consoles are great. I can see. Obviously, there's many things, many factors that go into it. And obviously, yeah. back in the um, back in the past, PC um, had better specs than consoles. Yeah. But now, consoles are more in line with PC specs with regards to latest things. Indeed. Especially, I believe the PS5 and uh, Xbox Series X yeah. are in line with some of the top end high level yeah. PCs. Mm. I think, um, you know, I mean, regardless of whether it's PC or console, you know, both systems have their own sort of things that they can offer. Merits. Yeah, demerits. merits and things like yeah. that. I'm just uh, spoiled with PCs because obviously I have a mouse and keyboard and I just feel like I get better control. And that's the only thing with controllers. Um, sometimes like moving camera around, I find can sometimes be a bit awkward, but yeah, I mean, it's only a minor thing though. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's different things. The I think this, this war between console game pc game is just so stupid Silly, isn't it? yeah <laughs> take yeah take take what you want and just, just go with it exactly mm-hmm. uh question number 16 okay now obviously this is uh, a game that's just complete complete where it's, it's, it's all over the place it's blown up everyone loves it it's the be all end all of every single game ever at the moment still right. is even though it's uh what's your opinion on Fortnite. Fortnite. never played yeah. it so can't really say <laughs> um yeah i haven't really played yeah. but but um my sister and her boyfriend uh, my boyfriend's a big um, uh, gamer big console yeah. gamer my sister wasn't but he's brought her into it oh, okay. uh, and they now do uh, Fortnite together a lot yeah. and, they, and she and she actually loves it considering my sister was not a video game person at all but now yeah. she absolutely <laughs> loves playing Fortnite yeah. uh, it's a sort of mixture I usually say it's like a mixture of Battle Royale like PUBG and yeah. Minecraft yeah we <laughs> built because um, it's a very big Battle Royale yeah. it's the it, well, it, it basically took the, the ideas from PUBG and is now essentially the biggest battle royale game at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I can understand why it's popular. Uh, you know, if you're really into sort of multiplayer battle royale games like that, it is supposed to be a, fair, a pretty damn good one. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have any kind of strong thoughts on it uh, myself, just because it's one I've never really. It's, it's not a game I've ever played before. Yeah, and. Um... It's certainly interesting. It's basically other other games have taken the uh, battle royale formula, haven't they? Yeah, and indeed. use it. Okay, question number seventeen. Have you ever watched a Twitch stream? Yes, I have watched Twitch streams before. Yeah, yes, they, um, some some of them could be really long, but yeah. uh, one of the ones that I love watching is the Yogscast oh, yeah. um, streams. Yeah, especially the, around uh, uh, Christmas when they get the jingle, oh god, those, all those, over. Those, those, they're those great, are fantastic, yeah, aren't they? Indeed, they really are good. But I've watched others uh, others live streams. Just the only issue with live streams with the YouTube videos, mm. you can just get those nice quick, you know, yeah. quick, well, quick fifteen minutes or twenty minutes, bang. Whereas these live streams, some of them are streaming for like two hours, yeah. three hours. <laughs> and indeed. It's like, Whoa, difficult to I know you can yeah. see tad bits and I believe Twitch uh, I believe Twitch um, upload them into sort of video formats so you can like watch bits at a time can't you yeah you can um, indeed but yes um, there's some great uh, streams I've watched before in the past and which I sometimes do find myself going back to and watching the VODs on YouTube afterward um, again and again yeah. um, you know, like, for example a good one for me is always uh, when the Oxcast do their sort of jingle charity drives oh God. So good. the uh, um, Angory Tom totally accurate battle simulator streams are usually always quite funny because Lewis comes in and takes on this persona of wheel boy who uh, he has basically this wheel where it like picks out factions and stuff for the players to use and it's funny <laughs> yeah they always yeah. do fantastic and they god the amount of money they make indeed yeah uh, <laughs> they raise a hell of a lot indeed I suppose it's um, 
it's interesting what these string because they because obviously live with their fans yeah. they can get instant feedback as well indeed which is really good for them mm. um okay question number 18 have you ever streamed yourself on twitch or youtube um no i've never streamed you've never, you've never no. done i know that people have asked if you've uh, ever wanted to go into the streaming yeah um, i thought about it but it. Uh, it's one of those things like i think a there's a lot of stuff with the setup that you need to um yeah prepare beforehand and b obviously it's also just finding time um finding time as well yeah, yeah. i did i did a little bit of uh, twitch broadcasting way 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 back yeah. you have to obviously get special broadcasting software like xsplit is one of the most popular ones yeah and then you have to make sure you have a sturdy internet internet connection Indeed. um i know yeah you can you can stream on both can't you yeah. you can stream on youtube yeah um that is a thing that you can do there you go Ooh. uh number 19 have you ever used a walkthrough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had to use one <laughs> earlier today, in fact, <laughs> with the Stalin subway, because I got to a level where I wasn't sure. Got to let me got stuck. Yeah, I've yeah. used counters walkthroughs before, because yeah. I've got, like, I've had to, you know, go into even even an online walkthrough, or back, back in the day, you had to uh, yeah. uh, get, a, get an actual guide, because there were moments where I got really stuck. Yeah. And I know that we've, when we've done, like, um, um, ones we've done like puzzle games I know that um, yeah. <laughs> like for Amnesia some of the ones we've had to go in and have a look at what, what we're supposed to be doing next Indeed. I don't think you did any for Portal did you? You actually did really no. well with Portal Yeah I think I did okay Managed to get Portal. through the puzzles by yourself without yeah. using a walkthrough You see it's funny because yeah. like you know I've played a couple of puzzle type of games before and I've sort of noticed something kind of interesting with them is um, there's like certain types of puzzles where I sort of do okay, and then there's other types of puzzles which I, I don't do so okay. But you get stumped. Yeah, yeah. it's funny because like the portal puzzles, although sometimes they would stump me for a bit, I never needed to look at a walkthrough because eventually I would solve it. It's just interesting how like portals puzzles yeah. are like that, how I was able to eventually figure them out without any real sort of outside assistance. But then like other games, um, like for example, a recent one I played was a very short one from uh, Itch.io called Out of Range. Uh, played on here on the channel, and there was like a puzzle in that that I just got really stumped on. Um, but then, weirdly, what was interesting is that I also find that, well, based on my experiences with Out of Range, that sometimes when I get puzzles that I'm stumped on, what I should really do is get a pen and paper and actually start writing down the clues and things on it, because I find that when I actually start doing that, suddenly I start to see things that maybe I don't see. And when where, I'm just did, and where to... did that do really well? Fez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, with Mezza, I remember that. Indeed. Yeah. But yeah, I think everyone's used to walk through at the end of the yeah. day. I know we, we've obviously done when we did Amnesia, and then there's a part where we had to actually, actually consult one, especially yeah. some of the custom maps. Uh, but yeah, you always, there'll come a point where sometimes you might have to, when you're just like really stuck in like, you're getting aggravated, like, fuck's sake, what am I supposed to be doing next? Yeah. <laughs> um, Indeed. Mm. But it can also be a part of bad game design. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, uh, Okay, question twenty. Okie dokie. What's the what's the best weapon you've ever used in a game? Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh god. I mean, there's there's lots that I can think of um, straight off the top of my head. So I'll go through some of them. Um, obviously, Wolfenstein 2009 has some great weapons in the form of oh, things does, like the particle it? cannon, the Lycanfaust, the Tesla gun. Oh, I fucking uh, love the Lycanfaust. Yeah. Just the way it, it, it disintegrated them. Oh my god, that was so fun to it see. Was, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I can say that as well because um, I have played the 2009 Wolfenstein because I got it for my Xbox 360. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. Other uh, games which had some really good weapons in them that I just really enjoyed using. Um, I remember as a teenager playing Quake 3 and that had some real good weapons in it. Um, yeah. Like the, yeah. the beer, uh, what's it called? BFG, the big fucking gun. Um, That's it. That's which, also yeah. very popular with Doom. Yeah, <laughs> that one. And. Um, yeah, another game that I played not too long ago, uh, Armored Head, which had the howitzer gun, which basically fires God, it's, it's like bouncy these, explosive these shots. Ones, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Armored Head's actually quite an interesting one. It's like a little short arena-based uh, shooter, but it has quite a range of cool weapons in it. Uh, it has a very sort of minimalist art style. It's quite, it's quite enjoyable. Um, so yeah, go and watch, watch my sort of two-episode playthrough of it, or go and buy it for yourself and give it a whirl, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great game. So that's just some examples there. Um, trying to think if there's any others, but in the meantime, what about you, Phil? Well, that pl plenty of weapons that I've made. And I mean, w when I played Fallout, the mini guns and everything, mm -hmm. especially when you can do all the upgrades and mods to them. Oh my God, they're so they're so fun to mess around with yeah. <laughs> uh, as well. Especially uh, when you get cheats as well in the uh, like Grand Theft Auto games, they're good, um, and we can basically blast through with big mini guns and big big yeah. weapons like that. <laughs> some of those weapons have been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And they're really fun to to see as well. And then some some 
interesting um, swords and stuff in Skyrim. Yeah. Skyrim had some interesting ones, especially when you do the Daedric side quests. Mm. Um, you can get some really interesting weaponry in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. I was just thinking, actually, then of Fallout 4 uh, last time. Well, one of the last times me and you played it when I came out to your house and we got that broadsider, or whatever it's called. Um, the one where. The broadsider, yeah, oh, wait, you get a reward. Yeah, the reward yeah. from. What's he called? The big robot admiral again. Um, that whole side quest with the USS Constitution. Um, yeah, where you um, have the robots who all think that they're uh, an 18th century warship crew. <laughs> Indeed. Okie dokie. Yeah. Right, um, let's move on to question 21. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever had to stop playing a game because it was too scary? Um, mm, well, the one that comes to mind is when I was a teenager and I played Call of Cthulhu Dark Hunters of the Earth for the first time, and there was oh, a point God. in that one where the Shoggoth first appeared where it freaked me out so much that for like two weeks after that, I just refused to touch the game. Just refused to stop, yeah. I even uninstalled it. <laughs> Did you? Oh yeah. my god, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, god damn. Oh. God damn, Andrew, why are you being such a pussy? But then two weeks later I thought, I, I, it started to nag at me because yeah. I was like, I was enjoying that game and I really don't want to leave it unfinished. So yeah. I, I, you know, friggin' summoned up some, some courage, reinstalled it, reloaded back and uh, continued playing it. And uh, yeah, glad I did because it was a great game. Mm. Yeah, that's. I'm just trying to think because I, I haven't played a huge amount of horror games. Oh. Um myself but i'm just thinking if there's if there's been any particular game where i stopped because i just got I, I found it too much um oh um that is a really tough question yeah that. i imagine it's a tough um, one for you yeah because for the reasons you say because i don't i don't know of any horror games you've played before where it's become genuinely scary i mean it doesn't necessarily have to be horror games it could just be because obviously yeah, some moments games are scary games. yeah moments in other games yeah moments in other well. games yeah, absolutely. That's just what I'm just thinking. Um, and the, I think there was. Uh, um, okay, I think I were, when I when I uh, um, played Fallout Four, there was one moment where I did, didn't really stop playing, but I had to, I had to put it down and just and just go where um, I first because I've never played a Fallout game before, and I was just won something, and then one of the ghouls just jumped oh, up. Right, and yeah. like, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> and I just had to pause and just leave it for a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, that, that was quite something, that, seeing that. Jump scared you. <laughs> Jump scared me, yeah. yeah. Okay, question 22. Has a game storyline ever made you cry? Or, well, as well as that, oh, feel yeah. real strong emotion? Strong emotion, yeah. Um, there are yeah. ones. I think this is actually um, a question we had in our 500 Q&A um, that was similar. Yeah, could really be. So I'll just sort of summarise quickly some games where I did get, definitely feel quite emotionally drained uh, afterwards because of, you know, they were quite hard-hitting. So as a teenager... Beyond Good and Evil, the scene yeah, where yeah, yeah. the lighthouse gets destroyed lighthouse and the kids have all got been basically kidnapped and taken away. So that. Um, the ending of Death Stranding is another one that got me good. Um, usually the endings of Dung and Romper games, they're always quite emotional because of everyone who's died. Um, oh god. Yeah. So, Spoiler. no, but spoilers. No, you expect yes. that from yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Except unless it's Dung and Romper's ultimate summer camp where everyone's fine <laughs> and everyone's just having a nice time on the beach. <laughs> yes. Nothing bad ever I think, happened. I think for me, um one of the ones I will say didn't make me cry but I, I, I couldn't believe it because it was the first time I'd ever really seen a, a video game do it mm. and that was the ed end of uh, Red Dead Redemption yeah. 1. Yeah. <laughs> My god. Boston. Yeah, with John Marston, I couldn't, I could not believe that because I'd yeah. never seen that before. I was like, "What?" Indeed, yes. And I, that that really got me. I must yeah. say, that really did get me. You know, I should have also uh, mentioned "To the that. Moon" as well that we talked about before. Cause that's oh yeah, one. Yeah, um, yeah. That was quite uh, heartfelt. That was mm, as well. Righty ho. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question number twenty-three. What's your favourite fighting class? Warrior, mage. 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 <laughs> Mage or Rogue and why? Ooh. Um, okay, so this is very much getting towards RPGs. Um, it's a bit RPG. Yeah. yeah but, Considering but, I've um, not played a huge number of them other than Skyrim. Um, yeah, so you can base uh, it off your Skyrim. For me, yeah. for me, it'd be a mixture of a, um, a warrior and a mage. I like doing that, which yeah. I believe is called a spell sword class like that. yeah yeah spell sword i like m mixing it up i like having the the melee combats and things like that yeah. when i was when i played skyrim i was that i had my magic in one hand and then uh swords and other equipment in the other i yeah. did like having throwing spells out at various different people so for me it'd be a combination of warrior and mage yeah i think i'd be the same um 
because obviously in my like occasional Skyrim series, and he said Skyrim series, Skyrim series that I do sometimes on and off uh, here on the channel. Um, I've been trying to do, sort of go for more of a mage build, but I've been finding that I often fall back on just being more like a warrior with actual yeah. hand-to-hand -hand weapons. So yeah, it's always fun that. Yeah, isn't it? Mm. yeah. I'm, I'm not really uh, the rogue tank; it's the more sneaky. Um, and then kill that. Yeah, of that one. Okay, question number twenty-four. Uh, what's your favourite game genre? Ooh. Oh god, that's hard to pick because there's lots of um, ones there. For me, I think it, I, 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 I would I would go the action adventure route. Yeah, yeah. Action adventure is always a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Action adventure. I do like my action adventure games. That's that's a good route for yeah. me. I do like a you know a bit of FPS from time to time. I like a bit of yeah. platformer stuff from time to time. Visual novels are also good depending on what you know what exactly the storyline is, things like that. So. I mean, yeah, for me it's hard. Yeah. Um, there's a mixture of stuff. Um, you like a mixture? Well, those are some that you yeah. like. Yeah. And whatever you genre you call favorite. Death Stranding, <laughs> but that is almost kind of like its own thing. <laughs> God, yeah, what is that? Yeah. Hideo Kojima, you're a funny guy, you really Indeed. are. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Question number 25. We are halfway. Halfway. <laughs> exactly, yes. Hmm. Do you prefer multiplayer games or to go solo? Go solo. I'm very much yeah, a single player single. person. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am. Um, I'm definitely more. I like the yeah. big, the big bombastic games that are single player. Yeah. I do like playing some multiplayer games. I must admit, I did have a good time playing things like RuneScape uh, and things like that. And sometimes where I like jumping in and playing with guys like I've got some some of my colleagues at work. Sometimes I play uh, uh, Call of Duty with them. Yeah. Uh, things like if I was to play um, multiplayer. I know I've said this to you before, but it would have to be obviously um, with probably people who I know personally, um, face to face. So you and probably anyone else. Um, that's right. That's why right. we have to get you a steam bell. Steam bell. Steam bell. Get your fast bell back up, you fucking bastard. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Solo is the is the, is yeah. the best. Both of us. Indeed. Okay. Question twenty six. Do you prefer co-op or player versus player? Ooh. Um. Ooh. So would you prefer, so that this is basically if you were to do multiplayer yeah. games, would you prefer to work together or go against each other? I would like to try a co-op um, sometime, because I've got games like Orcs Must Die and Orcs Must Die 2 and 3, yeah. and you know, well not Orcs Must Die 1, but the other two, they have like co-op and things like that, so you know, if I had someone who I knew personally who was into that Yeah, co-op's always game. a lot better, a lot more friendlier. The issue is, yeah. if you do player versus player, it can lead to uh, friendship breakdowns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially if things really don't go according to plan. Yeah. Um, Indeed. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have got me there. I was hiding behind this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the thing about like co-op, I think that it, the, there is that same risk. So you'd want to play with someone probably who's quite chill um, and yeah. who is more sort of there just to have fun rather than having like an amazing pro play because oh, otherwise it's like one of those them. things yeah you don't want to be like someone whose idea of fun is getting everything absolutely right and you know using the most amazing strats possible because oh, the thing God, about yeah. me is i'm not a pro gamer okay yeah there's um, people that do that but yeah. it's like when you're with you like me and you together have done have done co-op games and yeah. we work well we've got that uh, we yeah. gel together well yeah. so uh, that's always good because yeah. we're yeah, interested, so like, say, in actually just messing around and having fun rather than playing the game perfectly um, yeah. yeah indeed 27. What is the first console you ever owned? Was there something you ever owned before PC? No. <laughs> You've never had a console, haven't you? No, I haven't. I've always said maybe you should delve into trying maybe I console. Should. Yeah. Maybe I should... Um, I know you've had, you've had some yeah. fun the times you played on my PS4. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is, like, I know there's obviously um, certain console games that I would want to give a try, so I sometimes thought about maybe I should get a certain type of console so I can just play ah, those games. Yeah, I believe so, you said things like the Switch. So you yeah. can go like Mario Maker and things Mario like that. Maker, Zelda, things like, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda yeah. Wind Waker HD, stuff like that. Is that like Zelda Wind Waker HD is a Breath game that Wild. I would love to fucking play. Um because yeah. obviously I vaguely remember the original version of it from years ago when my cousin had a Nintendo GameCube. Oh yeah, she had that. Yeah. Yeah. And he had the, yeah. Yeah, and he Breath had of the there. Wild would be really good. Breath of the Wild, yeah. Uh, mm. I think the first console I had was the PS one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's uh, going that, way that's, back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I remember having the PS One and Nintendo GameCube. Mm. Those are the ones that I first ever owned, and they were they were ones. Obviously, that uh, some people I remember obviously having the Sega Genesis and the Jaguar yeah. and the Sega. Uh, mm. um, Indeed. Here's a bit of trivia for you. Yeah. Do you know what was the first uh, what was the first video game console? Oh God! Uh, <laughs> oh God! I don't first think I can. Proper one. Proper one. Um, 
Was it like the freaking Atari something or other? Yeah, um, before that, it was the Magnavox that. Odyssey. Oof. Oh, that's it. Yes, Magnavox Odyssey. God, yeah. yeah. That's, the... that's one that I can never remember off the top of my head. But I know it's an yeah. interesting one. Uh, question twenty-eight: Who, uh, yeah, who or what got you into video games in the first place? Um. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, probably. Uh, um, probably just my dad and um, one of his uh, old uh, old friends. Because um, I think it's like I think. My dad, um, obviously, when we got our, like, back in the 90s, our first um, home computer, and he had one of his buddies who has a family of his own. His kids probably had various games, and it's through them, probably, um, that we started to get into games. Because I'm pretty sure um, the thing that kind of prompted my dad to get Captain Claw, for example, back in the 90s, was probably because his friend's kids also had it, and so he probably just thought, oh, yeah, that's probably... You know, I'll get it for my kids because they'll probably enjoy it or something like that. Um, yeah. So I imagine that's probably what it was. Um, so yeah, that's a good little story. Yeah, yeah. For me, it was. I think it was because I, when I used to live in Germany, like I said, I went to see that French couple who had uh, Wolfenstein: Spear of Destiny, and that, yeah. that up to that point, I never really played video games. Mm. I think it was that moment when I played it. I thought, wow, this is really cool. What's yeah. what? what how? Yeah, and then that's when I started to uh, that bet. It was then that I started to get more into video games and then get and get various different ones and try them out. Uh, and then get a PS1 and everything. Yeah. Uh, I believe we actually got the PS1 as a gift. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll have a little play on this, and I got a few games, and then that's when it—that's when it all started for me. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Question number twenty-nine. What is the longest amount of time you've sat playing games non-stop? <laughs> I think the biggest um, one for us, actually, when we were together, when I used to come around to your house and we did like eleven hours oh, of recording. God, yeah. yeah, that definitely has got so to be eleven it. hours. Yeah. eleven hours when we did. For yeah, we did eleven hours. Oh my god, that yeah. was crazy. Like from yeah, ten in the morning or whatever, right through till well, um, yeah, like nine at night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's huge. Um, just well, what's the last, what, what about uh, when you're playing on, on, on your own? On my own? Um, longest amount of time. Um, I think for me it was about five or six hours. I was just the uh, same, yeah. I was just, just I was just open. I think I think, I think I, it was mostly when I got a new game. I think I think one of the ones I remember spending a long time was when I first got, I think it was um, when I got Assassin's Creed 3. Mm. I just yeah. sat down and thought, oh, I'm really loving this, I'm really loving this. And it was like, uh, I think it was like 11am. Um, I was like, bam, 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 yeah, loving it, loving it. I was like, oh, oh, oh. but think about it. the rest. I looked at the time, 5pm. Wow. wow. <laughs> time flies when you're having fun, indeed. Yeah. yeah, probably the same for me. Probably just like, I, I will have had like that one sort of rainy day on a weekend when I was a kid or something and just couldn't be asked doing anything else. So I just sat in front of a computer for five or six hours just playing a game. Just playing games, yeah. You'll get but square doesn't eyes. Be, mm. Doesn't beat our 11 hours, though. Indeed, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, question number 30. If video games didn't exist anymore, what would you do? Um, I'd have to go out into the real world, probably, and actually find something to do. Uh, right, well, you know, I mean, there's loads of other things to do for entertainment. Stuff. There's yeah. TV, TV. There's uh, think, watching books. YouTube stuff, yeah. box, box, absolutely. Mm. Entertainment that we're going to the cinema. Yeah. You know, meeting up with friends, just chilling out uh, in in, in yeah. a park and just having a chat about various things. Yeah, hey, you're not spoiled for choice. There's plenty of stuff you could do without a video ga- video garmes. Mm. Video garmes. Yes. Um, Indeed. Uh, right, question 31. Oh, actually, this from my... Oh, okay, so question 31 is, what is your favourite song from a game? Ooh. Now, that's just said, so our, la- our last... Uh, no, yeah. our last Save Being Hunted wasn't the 500th episode. Oh, I, I remember yes. video game soundtracks. That's was the right. The one that we did together. Yes. So, this is just a brief synopsis, but if you want to know more, go to that one. Yeah. Would you give a brief synopsis your favourite song from a game or favourite mm. video game soundtracks? We have a, a dedicated Saving Hunted episode to that yeah. uh, video game soundtracks. But yeah, just give us a brief synopsis of your favourite song from yeah. the game. Um, so, just uh, some quick suggestions. Uh, Ransacked from Wolfenstein The New Order. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. That's so good. It's it so fist pumping. Yeah. Um, BB's theme from Death Stranding. That's a great one. Um, um, what else? Some of the tracks from games like Dungeon Romper. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil, Rayman 3 soundtracks. Um, this is awesome. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Obviously, um, Dead Man's Gun from uh, Red Dead Redemption is always a good one. Um, is it called Dead Man's Gun? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? That's the end credits theme. Yeah. yeah. That one. Uh, there's, there's some other uh, ones. The one when he first into Mexico, that's yeah. a good one. Mm. 
and the one towards in the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with that one as well. Um, what did I say for me? I'm trying to remember from our Sandra. Oh yeah, everybody's gone to the rapture. Fuck me, yeah. that is insane. Great, Sandra, isn't it? everybody's gone to the rapture. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else I said. Some of the tracks from the GTA games are really good. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I say. Assassin's Creed. Some of those are really good soundtrack. Track, yeah, but um... just. Sorry, I'll just add another one. Uh, from a game I've never played, but I've heard it, and it is actually quite a good song. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5's Nuclear uh, by Mike Oldfield. That's apparently a really good oh, one. I've listened yes. to that, and it is pretty yeah, good. It, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good as well. Yeah. Oh, some of the Pokemon games have good soundtracks. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, okay, question number 32. Have you ever wanted to live in a video for... Uh, have you ever wanted to live in a world from a game? Ooh. If so, which one and why? Yeah, um, I mean... Oh, I believe, God, yeah. I believe this is one we've uh, we've answered in, in yeah. some Q&A as well. <laughs> Indeed, yes. Um, I mean, you know, the Beyond Good and Evil Hillis world is always one that you'd want to visit. Um, not necessarily for long, but uh, you'd want to go and visit that one, surely. Um, and yeah, there's probably loads of others. I mean... Um, can I go to uh, Danganronpa S Ultimate Summer Camp's uh, Jabberwock Island okay, version yeah, where there's yeah. no killing involved? <laughs> it's just it would. people having I fun. I just think where would I go? I mean, most of the games I play is, is very. Uh, I'll go to the. Uh, I'll I'll go to the. Um, I was going to say the Sandran Kagura world, but <laughs> you're just going to get beaten up, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, really? you are. <laughs> well, not if you don't do anything. All the dead or alive. That's no. Well, that's all a fighting game. So, and if you go to the extreme volleyball world, there that's you the go. That's See? the one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but if you want to know more about that game, we've got, we've, I think, one of the Q and A's. We uh, answered that one. Yeah. We did. Uh, question thirty-three: Which video game character do you most wish you were like? Most, ooh, most wish I was like. Okay. Uh, ah, that's. I suppose you can think I've of it. Got a lot of self-respect, lots of altruism. Um, mm. For me, it'll have to be Trevor Phillips. Trevor, <laughs> oh, Trevor Lord, GTA, no. you know, best waifu 2013 or whatever. That's it. <laughs> yes. Thinking who's good, who's been really altruistic, and who's who's always thinking there for you. Mm. Evie Fry again. That yeah. is is quite a good mm. one. Um, yeah. Kaidea Komatsu from Danganronpa V3. She's a pretty nice uh, character overall. Just. Um, well, I won't spoil anything about uh, her, but um, yeah, nothing bad ever happened. <laughs> I know that some people go for big bombastic people like the Doom guy, yeah. uh, BJ Blazkowicz. Oh God, BJ Blazkowicz! Yeah, with the, uh, the amount of times he survived, things, it's like bloody hell. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to be him, because <laughs> or more like him, because uh, you're going to get blown up and shot and God knows what else. <laughs> I know exactly. Indeed. Yeah, we're giving someone's there. Yes. Um, question number thirty-four. What's a game you've spent the most amount of money on? Oof. Um, okay, right. Let me just think about all the games I got on Steam. What was probably the most expensive um, that I've ever paid for? Probably, and this was even when it was on offer, uh, Death Stranding at like 40-something quid. Um, Is that really all you've spent? That's pretty low. Cause yeah. I know that I've... Uh, I think I've. I think the most I've spent was on one of the big AAAs that I've got, like the Fallout. I think it was, I think it was one with about 65 yeah. quid. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know. I'm the sort of person who, if I see a game which is really expensive, I think to myself, ooh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait and see if it ever goes on offer at some point. Because, for example, I've got um, on my Steam wish list, I currently have, among others, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Um, oh, God, And that's yeah. about 54 quid. And I think, I'm not going to buy that right now, but if it does ever go on offer uh, at much lower, well, know, something a some, bit lower, yeah, I'll some, probably don't buy it. Video games are getting more and more expensive they than they really are. Which I would suppose... Is you've got to think about the developer costs yeah. and everything, but then there's the collector's editions and the super light deluxe and gold and yeah. platinum, and they're like 120 quid. Indeed. They're like, jeez. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Question number 35. If you could have one power of any video game character, who would it be? Ooh, a power. Okay. Uh, let me think. What sort of characters have we got? Um, well, I've been I've been mentioning uh, Beyond Good and Evil a lot lately, and I'll mention it again. But Jade has certainly ha- appears to have the power to basically bring people back from the dead. If um, <laughs> as oh, go yeah. by, yeah, yeah <laughs> if they be, suffer so terrible be... fates, so I suppose that would be neat. Um, you know, because there doesn't seem to be any downside to being able to do that. At least not that we've yeah. seen, unless uh, the ending scene at the end of Beyond Good and Evil's credits is anything to go by. But uh, <laughs> um, so that possibly is an idea. Um, what else? Imagine if you could be like Rayman in Rayman 3 and you could just send your fist flying out through the oh air God. in a curving oh arc. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. 
I think for me, some of the magic powers you get in Skyrim, yeah. <laughs> they'll be interesting um, yeah. as well. They'll be interesting to have as well. Indeed. Um, so I'd say we're getting that, having that ability to perform those magic. Um, okay, question number 36. Who would you choose as your fighter in Super Smash Bros, Soul Calibur or Street Fighter? Oh, God. Um, who would I choose as my fighter? problem is I don't really know the full range of characters in some of those games, so um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to uh, have to pick one from the Mario games at random and just say Luigi or something. I don't know. Going to be Luigi. Uh, um, I, I, that's based on nothing in particular. That I'm going to go gents. with Mewtwo. All right. Yeah. Yeah. From mm. Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. They basically, they've got the uh, was created by humans. Has got superior intellect and everything. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Question number thirty-seven. Xbox or PlayStation? Choose one. Ooh, quickly, okay. quickly, uh, quickly, uh, quickly, 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 Question number 38. Okay, what are you hoping for at the next E3? Ooh, I haven't thought about that, actually. Um, God, what games are in the works at the moment that... Um, well, Come I'd on, hope maybe it, Beyond Good and Evil 2, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd yeah. Think that was going to be the one. I was trying to think if there's anything besides that, but I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. No, um, can't really think of anything. No. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is the main one. Please give us some information. Is it still yeah. going? <laughs> <laughs> or are we back in uh, development hell for it again? <laughs> back in developer GTA 6 for me. You know, there's yeah. been loads of leaks apparently for it. You may have heard. Indeed. Um, and uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah. I'd love to see if there's anything more about that. Yeah, those th- those are definitely the ones, the ones for me. Yeah. Um, okay. Question number 39. Who is your favourite villain from oh. a video game and why? Okay. <laughs> Let's have a think. Who's my favourite villain? from a video game and why would that be um so um i think uh, definitely from the machine games wolfenstein's death's head is definitely a highlight because of um yeah the fact that he's much more sadistic and charismatic yeah he is. yeah yeah on <laughs> indeed one, so he was quite memorable he was um i will also add on to that i must say uh frau engel was pretty memorable yeah as well. she was a good one too um so she's quite memorable she's another one um who else who else uh, immediately springs to mind um, what's his face in Death Stranding? Higgs. He's uh, quite a standout villain as well. Um, so another good character there. I know one from a, a game that you've played with me because uh, you said a few times Haytham Kenway. Yeah, Haytham Kenway. Always an interesting one, mainly because you get characterisation of him actually. Yeah, which is fantastic yeah, in the game, which is interesting. You actually play as him as well for part of the game. So that was, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, much more fleshed out villain. Very interesting certainly compared to a lot of, I think, the other villains in later Assassin's Creed. He just stands yeah. out above them all. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. So there's, there's some good villains, absolutely. Okay, question number 40. What is your favourite game from your childhood? Captain Claw <laughs> is Captain one big Claw, one. Yeah. Rayman 3 um, is another one. That's always a good one as well. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I could go on and on <laughs> for some of them. Yeah, I'm just trying to think... Um... What game did I really like when I was when I from my childhood? Um, oh God, um, I'm just trying to think now. What 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 is my favourite game from my childhood? I did the the original GTA's. Yeah. Uh, I would say because uh, I was playing, but I did I did play them when I was very young. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else did I What else did I play? Um, I think the Spirit of Destiny. Yeah. Uh, I did enjoy that. I did enjoy being. Okay, question number 41. Are there any games you're really bad at? <laughs> well, I've already mentioned puzzle games, which sometimes I can be uh, a bit of a noob at uh, occasionally. Not always, but No, because like I said, with Portal, Portal we, we yeah. did really well. Yeah. Portal and Superliminal, we did all right. Um, yeah, we did, re- yeah. We, did, we did pretty well with Superliminal, I yeah. must say. Mm, that was a good one. Um, but yeah, there are sometimes other, certain other puzzle games which um, I am kind of bad at. Um, you know, I was thinking... A genre that um, I've never really played before, and I sometimes wonder if I was to try it, would I be any good at it or not? Would be something like rhythm games, something like that. So, oh God, yeah, yeah. Well, you have to keep your time. You have to keep your time um, on that, don't you? Yeah, I've got a game on my Steam wish list, which is actually free. You don't need to pay for it. Called Unbeatable okay. White Label, which has an interesting looking art style. And I kind of do want to try it, but whether I'll be any good at it is um, another yeah. question altogether. Because it is, I believe, supposed to be a rhythm game. Um, yes. 
Indeed. I'm just trying to think what games. Uh, um, no. There's some puzzle games where I've had moments of uh, frustration and, and couldn't couldn't solve them, mm. um, and and, re- and various things like that. I've I've had a, a bit of an issue with some with some puzzle games. Yeah. Um, there are some moments. Um, I'm just trying to think what the games about. The only games I've been really. Um, some sometimes I got a bit stuck with the. Well, like when I played um, Crash, yeah, there were some really hard levels, and I was just I, so, I could I just couldn't get past them. So I had to do yeah. che- mm. cheaty things, yeah, yeah cheaty things. But, uh, you had to be a cheaty boy, mm, dearie me. <laughs> uh, yes. Question number forty-two: Have you ever seen somebody get really angry when they lose? <laughs> um, yes, yes, you, me. <laughs> I'm just thinking, yeah, probably me. Uh, sometimes when I get a game where it's really frustrating, and I'm like, for fuck's sake, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have, I've, um, I, I must admit, well, there have been times in when I was younger when yeah. I played some games with my sister, yeah. and uh, when she lost, she had a massive fit. Like, <laughs> wow. No need, there's no need to yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, one who I can think of that's not me, uh, and he's yeah. pretty much a big meme on the internet. Is it Angry German Kid? Um, oh, God, yeah. 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 <laughs> that one. <laughs> there you go, folks. Yes, that there one. <laughs> okay, question number 43. Uh, what's your favourite game series of all time? Ooh. God, oh, again, there's, like, there's multiple ones I could possibly name there. Um, GTA, Assassin's Creed, for me. Yeah. Those are my... Those are my favourite game series. Wolfenstein, um, one for me. Uh, Rayman yeah, oh God, games. Yeah. Uh, Danganronpa games. Um, yeah, you yeah. really enjoyed the camp- Danganronpa Indeed. games. The Dingle Danga games. Mm. That's it. That's quite an easy one. We've answered that a few times. Okay, yeah. question number 44, which is actually uh, quite an interesting one to consider. What's more important, action or story? Ooh. Okay, uh, for me, I would probably inclined more to story because yeah you do yeah. have to have a good story as a backbone because yeah. if you've got action with fuck all then um yeah yeah it sometimes can you can it can lose a bit indeed because the thing i find about action is um you know when you start playing a game for the first time for several hours you'll have that sort of new game novelty where you'll be really into it but once that eventually wears off there needs to be a hook something to kind of keep you engaged with it and um, that's, that's where story. That's yeah. deja vu. I'm yeah. sure you talked about that. I have. Enough, yes. Uh, where I you have. talked about the uh, that Indeed. hook that you need to have. Yeah. Yeah. So either it needs to introduce new mechanics to the gameplay, or more likely something in the story to keep things moving forward. Story is always good because it, it, it gives yeah. you that additional effect of what what's going on. Yeah. I, apparently, the um, uh, Doom 2016 was just full on action. Yeah. And then Doom Eternal, they actually had a storyline in it, and people thought, oh, Doom doesn't really need a storyline to it. Yeah. So some people didn't really like that that part of the Doom Eternal, mm. um, and they wanted to keep it like Doom was. But then there were other people who were like, oh, no, this is actually really good. Yeah. But there is now a story for Doom. Indeed. Uh, and like, you look at some of the games I played on my channel, you know, some of them are ones that have real big, fucking incredible stories going on in them, like uh, Death Stranding, the Danganronpa games, uh, the newer Wolfensteins, um, what else? To the Moon, which I mentioned before, Beyond Good and Evil. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, that's another yeah, one. That. Yeah. Gone Home. Um, gone Home, oh god, yeah. Yeah. Some great stories. Um, so, yeah, great stuff, for me, man. yeah, I, actually, I'm now more confident in my answer. Definitely story, then, I would Definitely say. Story. Mm. Okay, question 45. Is there a game that's considered to be really bad, but is your secret guilty pleasure? <laughs> um, oh, God, yeah, there will be. Um, well, actually, probably, in fact, some of the slightly janky-ass shooters that I do sometimes like to play, like the Stalin Subway, because <laughs> from an objective oh, yeah. point, it's it's bad, because it's janky as hell, and it's clearly very low budget. But I'm going to be honest, as janky and clearly you know, and I've had to patch it, obviously, to get it to work properly. But I'm actually kind of enjoying it, even though it's bad. Yeah, it's yeah. Good pleasure. Yeah, yeah indeed. <laughs> um, uh, what that? I'm just thinking now. I don't. I don't think most of the games I I play are like really bad. Uh, um, uh, yeah, indeed. Um, just trying to think if there's any others that spring to mind. Games. Um, I suppose actually there is another one I can think of, another sort of yeah. niche game that I got on Steam, which if you look at like the Steam reviews for it, they are overwhelmingly negative. But I personally thought it was okay, and I thought there were some interesting elements to it. Uh, Grey Skies, A War of the Worlds story. So 
that game was oh, by no yes. means perfect. Yeah. It had a lot of things in it which probably could have been changed or redone. But I do commend the effort that the devs went to, and I do I did enjoy certain aspects of it. And so I did, in the end, give it a tentatively positive review on Steam. Yeah, you liked it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm. nice one. 46. If you could have any video game character as your best friend, <laughs> who would it be? Ooh. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, Sony and Nevermind from DR2. Thank you very much, and that's all I'll say. On this. <laughs> that's all you say is your yes. best friend. <laughs> there we go. Nah, I don't need a best friend for video game because I got You've Phil. You've got me. Yay. Yeah, and I've got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, yes. What I say, um, who would be a really good person to have as a best friend to be around? And, you know, they're always jovial and exciting. Um, um, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I'm just thinking, is, is there anyone else who actually I could say? Um, let's have a little think about this here. Uh, oh god! Um, I think some of the uh, Assassin's Creed protagonists would be yeah. interesting. Mm. Yeah, especially when you can. Some of them are quite funny, like uh, um, Edward Kenway or Jacob Bright. Yeah, that'd be funny. Indeed, yes. Um, mm. Okay. Um, right. Question. Question forty-seven is they've put the same question again. Oh. If you can marry, if you can marry any game character, who would it be? Okay, so we'll skip along. Yeah. Question number forty-eight: Would you rather have loads of time to play games, but only be able to buy two games a year, or be able to buy loads of games but never have much time to play them? I mean, um, <laughs> so I feel like rather it is a would you rather. In fact, I feel like I'm yeah. kind of already in the latter situation where I have a lot of games in my Steam library, and I'm just sort of having never to, much. yeah, never too. Much would you time rather to play have them. that, or would you have loads of time to play games but only able to play two games a year? <sighs> I don't think I'd want to just be constrained to two games a year, though. Yeah. I think I'd want to be able to play. I want to have choice. Would you rather in here? Yeah. So I'll go with the latter one myself. Mm. Yeah, having loads of games and never having enough time to play them. Because there'll be moments where you can just nip in and yeah. out, can't you? Indeed. Yeah. Um, mm. Absolutely. Okay. Question number 49. Nearly there now. In your opinion, what is the worst game of all time that you've Ooh. played? <laughs> that I've played? Okay. Um <laughs> Well, I mean, oh god, that one! Yeah, yeah <laughs> that, one. that one! Oh my god, the horrendousness yeah. of that! But you it know, that's so obviously, yeah, yeah, that's not obviously a well-known game. That's just a someone's random little indie game attempt. Um, but yeah, there's there's probably ones, um, other ones like just just like random little indie games which um, haven't really been made very well or you know, have things like that. Like there was obviously that future noir demo that I showed you as well as part of our ten year oh, yes. reaction which was just poorly made. Um so yeah. that too, I guess. Nikita. Nikita, that as well. Yeah, that's a pretty bad one. <laughs> yeah. Uh I mean I, I don't really have a worse game, but like like I said, some of the ones the Ratchet and Clank, uh yeah. Show the Tomb Raider didn't really do it for me, but yeah. they weren't really the worst games, they're just the ones I really didn't like. Yeah, Nikita's uh, a funny one, because like, if it had come out late 90s, very early 2000s, it probably would have done okay, but it wasn't obviously a late 90s game, it was um, 2008 when it was released, and it was dated as hell by 2008 standards. I've just thought, uh, Andrew, mm -hmm. game series that we both really liked, the Worms series, of oh, course. Worms, yeah. Because obviously you had Worms World Party, yeah. which was absolutely it was so fun, we used to always play that together, and I remember when you came around and I had Worms 3D. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, that was always fun. Yeah, <laughs> from getting out the concrete donkey and all that. <laughs> oh God, it's so fun as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, and the final question, which is essentially a sort of another "Would you rather?" So, question fifty: Would you give up video games for life and receive five hundred thousand dollars, or whatever the equivalent is in pounds, in cash, or would you refuse the money? Mm. No, I'd refuse the money. Um, yeah, I think it's about. Yeah. Okay, let's let's just do a. Um, a currency exchange. Yeah. Five hundred thousand dollars. Mm. Yeah, let's have a lot. So five hundred thousand dollars of five hundred thousand dollars to pounds is no, not not five hundred. <laughs> oh god, I'll just I'll put I'll put a comma. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna get confused. Five hundred thousand dollars. Right, so five hundred thousand dollars is four hundred forty-two thousand three hundred one pounds. Mm, okay. So for four hundred, okay. So for four hundred forty-two thousand three hundred quid, would you no. never 
never play <laughs> video games again. Nah. Um, you know, I don't know, because I, you know, I do love my video games. I don't think I'd trade them uh, for that, even if it is a high amount of money. Yeah, absolutely, because yeah. it's it's uh, they're just so good. There's so much variety with them as well. Indeed. Uh, even though that is a lot of money, so much variety. Yeah. Uh, well, we've had some fun there that with was a good some one. questions. I know we've had a, we've had a good one, and there's some interesting questions there. And some so viewers, if you want to answer some of those yourselves, give us uh, what what are your thoughts on the various different ones, and give some answers to uh, to them as well. Yeah. So it was a uh, nice big mammoth juicy video for you all to get your teeth into. Yes. That's good because it gives me something to put into the uh, upload queue um, just to extend my schedule for a little while. So thanks for joining me there, Phil. Absolutely, Andrew. Mm, yes. Okay, we'll wrap up here. So Facebook put the links down below, along with the links to my propaganda channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated and all that jazz. Well, that is the two of us signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, where am I? I'm here. Oh, oh, cake. Eat me. Oh, I think I remember this. <laughs> here he comes. What are you doing? <laughs> Just let her have a slice. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yep. Down he goes, he's not invincible anymore. Time for Giant Alice, everybody. Nice little reference back to uh, the actual books and the Disney movie from uh, the 50s as well. The dress has changed back to the default one, apparently, though, for some reason. Time to advance. Oh, God. Checkpoint, apparently. <laughs> <laughs>